Newborn screening is an essential public health service provided to every baby born in North Carolina. It is an opportunity to identify serious but treatable health conditions early in life. Newborn screening first began in North Carolina in the 1960s and has continued to grow and expand. Before each baby leaves the hospital, a small amount of blood is collected on a special filter paper card and sent to the North Carolina State Laboratory of Public Health. These specimens are tested for conditions on the state's newborn screening panel. Babies whose results indicate an increased risk for any of these conditions are referred to the appropriate medical specialist for diagnosis and follow-up care. Newborn screening is a system. It includes families, physicians, advocates, policymakers, follow-up coordinators, hospitals, and the laboratory. Newborn blood specimens are sent to the state laboratory on a filter paper card. Shortly after birth, blood is collected by a tiny heel prick. There are approximately 120,000 babies born in North Carolina every year, so the laboratory may test hundreds of specimens per day from all over the state. When specimens first arrive at the laboratory, they are checked for quality to ensure they were properly collected for testing. Information about each specimen is entered in the laboratory's computer system, which is used for data management and results reporting. After specimens are received in the laboratory, small sections of the dried blood spots are punched into trays for all the newborn screening tests. Trays of specimens are tested by different groups in the newborn screening laboratory. The Tandem Mass Spectrometry Laboratory tests newborn screening specimens for a variety of metabolic disorders. Tandem Mass Spectrometry is a technology that uses instruments to test dried blood spot specimens for specific metabolites that are produced when the body breaks down sugars, proteins, and fats. This technology is used to identify babies at risk for lysosomal storage disorders and amino acid, organic acid, and fatty acid oxidation disorders. Some examples of metabolic conditions identified by the Tandem Mass Spectrometry Laboratory include phenylketonuria, or PKU, maple syrup urine disease, or MSUD, and mucopolysaccharidosis type 1, or MPS1. The Floral Amino Assay, or FIA Laboratory, screens newborn specimens for several endocrine and metabolic disorders. This lab tests the baby's dry blood spot using proteins that give off light. Our laboratory instruments can measure this light. FIA tests are used to check the levels of certain chemical messengers or hormones and special proteins in the baby that change food into energy. Examples of critical conditions identified utilizing fluoroimmunoassay technology are galactosemia and congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Also known as GALT deficiency, classic galactosemia is a metabolic condition caused by the absence of an enzyme that breaks down the sugar, the lactose, leading to toxic levels in the blood. The endocrine condition, congenital adrenal hyperplasia, is a collection of inherited disorders that affect the adrenal glands. Babies with congenital adrenal hyperplasia are unable to produce cortisol, which protects the body from stress or illness and regulates sugars in the blood. The newborn screening molecular laboratory identifies babies at increased risk for SCID, which stands for severe combined immunodeficiency, and SMA, also known as spinal muscular atrophy, using a technology called real-time PCR to test the baby's DNA. SCID is a condition that impacts the immune system. Individuals with SCID have a very weak immune system. As a result, infections that are minor to most people can be life-threatening to individuals with SCID. SMA, or spinal muscular atrophy, on the other hand, is a disorder that affects cells in the nervous system and can impact the baby's ability to crawl, walk, or breathe. The Newborn Screening Molecular Laboratory also tests for cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is a disorder of the mucous glands that causes the body to produce too much mucus. Changes in a baby's cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator gene, CFTR gene, 
They can cause cystic fibrosis are identified using a technology called next generation sequencing. Next generation sequencing is a molecular biology technique that can identify mutations in DNA. The hemoglobinopathies laboratory tests for conditions like sickle cell disease using high performance liquid chromatography or HPLC and isoelectric focusing using gel electrophoresis or IEF. Hemoglobin is a protein that carries oxygen throughout the body on red blood cells. The laboratory test can identify the shape of this important protein. Hemoglobinopathies are inherited conditions that impact the hemoglobin protein and affect the number or shape of the red blood cells in the body, preventing them from carrying oxygen normally. If results that indicate an increased risk are identified, the newborn screening follow-up program is alerted. Follow-up may arrange additional testing and refer babies to the appropriate specialist for treatment. More than 200 babies in North Carolina are identified with a newborn screening condition each year. You always hear too about like how early detection is important with so many things. So obviously, you know, the, with the newborn screenings, you want to get that early detection so you can start making an action plan and start taking, you know, the positive, positive measures. We're very thankful for this to discover, you know, at such a few days old that she has PKU and to be able to get her on diet up immediately. Oh. Um, very healthy.